All right, we are here once again with Pastor Russell Messer from Bit to Healy in Brandon, Florida. Last week you shared a little bit about a champion tables, but I want you to, to reiterate it one more time, Russell. <laughs> you know, I'm excited. It's um it's a very interesting thing. You know, people first told me about a pastor's table. Pastor Nick, my uh, senior pastor here, he said, you know, you should get to a pastor's table. I said, what's a pastor's table? I said, what is that all about? I have so much going on my plate, so much on my mind, you know, just trying to get through the family stuff, through the ministry stuff. And Pastor Nick's like, no, you really should get to it. It'll really, you know, really encourage you. So I said, all right, let's go do that. So the first time I went to a pastor's table was over at um, the Bob Evans. And I sat down with my team of pastors. They're awesome men of God. And, of course, I didn't know who these guys were. I was trying to understand a little bit about them and their ministries. And so I sat down at the table, and as soon as we hit the table, man, it was just prayer. It was awesome. We were encouraged. And um, so you know what's really awesome is that you need to get to a pastor's table for two reasons. If you're a pastor, I, I, there's two reasons that benefited me, and I know it'll benefit you, is that when you get with the pastors, you get spiritually fed together. You get to be encouraged one another. Sometimes you have problems in your church. You're like, hey, you know, I have this person. I don't know how to reach them. These pastors can give you insight and encouragement. You know, what was really great for me was the pastors were able to give me encouragement too. You know, at the end of the day, you always give out so much of your emotions. You're always trying to feed into people, always trying to encourage people. And, and that's great. But then you come home and your wife's like, hey, can you help me with this or that? And you're like, oh man, I'm out of, I'm completely out of energy. Well, this is what was great. Is I was able to sit down with pastors and they were able to encourage with me. You know, we sat down, we started praying at the Bob Evans table. It was really exciting because we were actually making so much noise at our Bob Evans table. They actually moved us away from the audience. So cool. we're actually in our own corner now. I don't know why they're putting us over there. Maybe because we're shouting too much. But, you know, it's just really good to see parent. It's really good to see pastors come together. Communities get together. You know, and just talk with one another. You know, and we're all in the kingdom of God. We're all sharing the good news. And I'm just really excited. You know, it really didn't have anything to do with our um, our denominations. It was just really f refreshing. And so I really want to encourage you to get to a pastor's table. I know Pastor Paul and his wife are well organized. They'll get you involved. And you will just be totally blessed by it. I know you will. It's going to be awesome. Hey, now, I wanted to ask you. You said something about denominations. And and, and tell me about the denominations that are part of your... And, and, and they're called champion tables on yes. top of that yeah so we're, we're all champions you know we're already we're already labeled as that so you're already a champion when you come into the table but you know what's really great is when we sat down at the champions table i was i have a um a pentecostal and a baptist at my table so you know that's very unique and of course i'm in hebrew roots i'm in the hebrew roots of my faith so we're all get to sit down and so we all come from a different perspective and so we sit down we pray some people come up with different scriptures from different perspectives and it's just really good because it just enlightens and it just encourages us you know the you know the even Jesus had his 12 disciples, but he also had he also had a smaller group that he met with just privately, you know. And I really believe that is what we're dealing with now is we're actually coming together in small groups, encouraging one another, just passionate about what we believe, passionate about who we are and what we're doing for God. And so it's just really exciting to see what God's doing in the in the movement. Yeah, we uh, we're just excited about what God is doing and and moving this thing all around. The uh, the champion tables are a table of four who do model what we call the Jesus model, which Jesus had Peter, James, and John. And it is men, though, coming together who happen to be pastors. Sometimes women come together, but never mix. You know, men come as men to challenge each other as men because we, we have challenges. And often we can't talk to the people around us that we serve with. As, as a shepherd, you don't go counsel with sheep shepherds counsel with each other and encourage one another and and russell i just get excited because of your excitement and enthusiasm and you know uh you can learn a lot from from the www.allpropastors.org if you want to learn about this ministry called all pro pastors and often i get asked well who is an all pro pastor who can be an all pro pastor but well, we we just explain it like this anybody that jesus has called to be a pastor has to be an all pro because he doesn't call second class you know, he calls sons not hirelings and i know you understand that we ask that anybody who is not a pastor to encourage pastors to get involved now i want to ask you something again i'm going to take the camera back from you the phone back from you i should say mm -hmm. but what does your wife think about you being involved in a champion's table? 
You know, my, my wife is actually happier as overall. You know, my wife, um, not that she was unhappy. I never want to say that publicly anyway. But, you know, it's really exciting to see. Um, for her, it's exciting to see when I come home that I'm not completely zoned out in my... Because sometimes you have these things that are weighing on your mind as a pastor. You have these thoughts like, am I doing a good job? Am I reaching the right people? Am I doing the right things? Am I teaching the right message? Is it all going... You know, all these things, right? It's all from the enemy. But, you know, what's really exciting is my wife comes home. And I come to the front door, and she says, you know, hey, Russell, how are you? And instead of me being like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm, she's really excited about, and, and that's not how I always sound, by the way, but she's really, <laughs> she's really excited about the fact that I come home encouraged about what I do, enthusiastic about what we do, because sometimes the enemy works on you, but it's only when we let ourselves down by not getting encouraged. And we need to surround ourselves like armor with men in the front and the back of us that are really going to take hold of our, our hand and really support us. And so that's what All Pro Pastors does. It did it for me. It'll definitely do it for you. And I really want to encourage you guys to stick with it. Get involved. Get it at Pastors Table today. You need to call them, tweet them, Facebook them, whatever it takes. Get involved at the Pastors Table because you guys will really, really be blessed. I was blessed, and I know you guys are going to be blessed. All righty. Thank you so much, my brother Russell. Amen.